Now coming to the second topic, another very, 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 very uh, important current affair. Again, this is the second measures which has been discussed in the economic survey to support the state. Now this is in relation to, I already told you there have been shortfall in the GST collection. There have been shortfall in the GST collection. Okay, This can be a very potential question. Okay, they can either ask a question regarding GST compensation concept wise or they can ask you current affair. If they are asking current affair, it will be definitely from here only. This is the original source. So, so since there have been GST shortfall for the states, there have been shortfall for the sender. For the state to address that shortfall, sender have come up with a certain measures. Okay, so before going into what are the senders supporting measures you need to know about one important law what is see when the gst was implemented okay when gst was implemented you have to remember the year it's a fact but it's very 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 important the gst started implementing from 1st july 2017 this date normally i told if act is not important but this date is now very important for you. From this date onwards, GST have been implemented in India. Okay. So, before the GST implementation, there have been constitutional amendments, 101st Constitutional Amendment Act, and there have been many central and state laws. So, there have been few central laws and one state laws regarding implementation of GST. Okay. So, Central GST Act is one of that. Along with that, there is a separate law for compensating state. There is a separate law for how so under there is a central law which clearly says it's a law law means it's binding there is a central law which says how the state will be compensated if there is shortfall in gst collection okay right. why this was added into the gst act or gst compensation act is that try to understand that it gives security to the state in order to convince the state, okay, if you join GST, when state join GST, I told you, one of their major revenue in the form of state VAT is merged with GST. So, they may fear, okay, if they have not joined, see, if, if by joining, if there is any shortfall in their revenue, so the center said that we will compensate you. So, they, are, they have created a formula. So, how to calculate this shortfall in GST revenue. For that, the law itself says that there is a base year is there. So based on the, a particular base year, we will collect the, and it said that every year, the, the sender says that, okay, imagine there will be a continuous growth in the GST revenue. And that is also mentioned in the law. So these two facts you need to know. So to, to calculate the shortfall in GST revenue, the base year the sender decided is, 2015-16 so 2015-16 is the base year very 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 important okay and you know that the GST implemented from 1st July to the so in the financial year 2015-16 how much the state what is the revenue for the state which those taxes which is subsumed under GST only those taxes which is subsumed under the GST and they says that okay from 2015 onwards there will be a 14 percentage growth. This is another important fact. So, in 2016-17, the that revenue, the taxes which have been merged with GST for the state, they believe that in 2016-17, in 2016-17, this is the base year. Now, compared to 2015-16, there will be a growth of 14 percentage. In 18, so in 17-18, see 16-17 means you need to understand that. Only few months because first July 2017, July, August, September. Okay, no, no, actually, it is starting from here only. No, sorry, see, first July 2017, only GST implemented. So, it will be started which financial year in the 17 18 only. No, but it is see in the formula is 16 17, 14 percentage growth. 17, 18, to the 16, 17, to 16, 17, there will be 14 percentage growth rate. 
what I'm what I'm trying to say is start with 1516 in 1617 the G, the revenue GST or the taxes which have been subsumed it will be 14 percentage higher next year it will be 14 percentage higher next year it will be 14 percentage higher so in 1890 it will be 14 percentage higher to the this way this year 1920 again 14 percentage higher now this is the year we are talking about 14 percentage higher than 1920 this is actually where it is mentioned in the law itself base year and the percentage of growth is mentioned in the gst compensation act itself these two are very 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 important act they can trick you how instead of 14 percentage they will say 10 percentage they will say 18 percentage or they will say 12 percentage and you cannot complain UPC because this is a very 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 important fact and very important current affair and it's also covered in the economic survey okay so so now there is a problem in 2021 already already there is a shortfall before the lockdown already there is a shortfall in 1920 1920 there is no covid it started see okay you can say that it started in march but that's only few days but before the implementation of uh, before this lockdown itself there have been shortfall in gst revenue for the states due to what what will be the reason slow down what is the gdp growth in 1920 now four percentage the growth is earlier it was earlier estimation was 4.2 percentage so G, when the gdp growth is slower naturally the gst collection the revenue collection will also go around so already before this lockdown itself already the center was compensating the states but depending upon how much see not every state will be having equal proportion see some state their revenue will be better some states the revenue so which state is having which all states is having shortage for that states only you will get it if any particular state is not been affected by the uh, gst by converting into by shifting to gst they will not be compensated whom it will be compensated any states whose revenue is below 14 percentage if any particular state is having 18 percentage revenue growth there is no need to compensate them but most of the state was affected so already this is there there is gst compensation is there and the sender so how the sender have compensated the state is through ss you might have heard about compensation cess see there is a compensation cess is there on certain items we call it as on certain luxury items as well as sin items like tobacco beverages some luxury items like uh, you can say that uh, or you can say that aerated drinks okay so certain items which comes under the 28 percentage gst tax slab see there are different gst tax slab is there okay only those items which comes under the 28 percentage gst rate and not all certain items was selected by the gst council so from the gst so that says we call it as gst compensation says so from this gst compensation says only the sender compensates the state now another important point of this law is that so one is what is the base here second is the revenue growth 14 percent third is this gst compensation will be given only for the first five years from its implementation that's why that when it start that is very important normally we think that it starts with the financial year it is not in with the it's not starting with the financial year it starts from first july hey, that is actually uh, to make see we will see that what was the previous revenue growth how the state revenue was moving so normally we believe that the revenue growth will be around 12 percentage see there will be based on the previous history we will get to know na, how the revenue is growing so first is how the state revenue was improving by looking into the and taking the average and giving a bit of higher rate so it is not exactly 40 it, was, it may be 11 or 12 but in order to give a confidence to the states what is the confidence given by the center to the states if you join your revenue will improve rather than not joining it same thing see this same thing we have done it way back in 2010 in 2010 first see try to understand this reform is not a sudden reform this is a reform in indirect taxes or no 
It's a very important indirect tax reform because many indirect tax were merged together into GST. See, when sales tax were, see, earlier the center have asked the state to shift from sales tax regime to state VAT. So, when you, re, when that time when the sender asked the state, all the states to shift from sales tax to state VAT, which is again, but within their own regime. They were not merging, but they were moving into a different regime, which I will be discussing after this class, under GST, okay. So, try to understand that it is based basically based on their previous revenue growth and also with a promise that it will be higher than it. That's to, in order to have a consensus that rate was decided. Yes, First July 2017 onwards. But now, due to this lockdown, the sender have, they have not explicitly said that it will be extended. In here, it is as part of these measures. The center itself is saying that this five-year will be extended. So that that where, how long it will be extended, the GST council will decide. Ah, when the GST came into force in India. So so before that, I will tell you. Okay, before 1st July 2016-17, there was service tax. There was union excise duty. There was state VAT. That is stopped from the 1st July to the from there onwards it is GST. I'll, you'll understand more when I'll take the GST goods. But the GST act was passed in 16 Ah, yes. The act, see, it was a, I told you, it's a gradual, first it, you have to be ready for it. You have to make the infrastructure, you have to change the uh, people, because now the center, see, central government and state government is working together. We are coming into a, our network, or you, everything you'll understand, okay. You have to ready for it, okay. So these things you keep in mind, this five-year period, these are mentioned in the law. So if there was an, if, if the, if to extend this, they have to make the amendment to the law, that if whatever it is, okay. Now come to the economic survey. With this background in mind only, you will understand what is the, see, in order to understand everything in the economic survey, you need to have basic conceptual clarity. We need to know the topic, otherwise you will not understand economic survey, okay. So in order to see, now you will understand. Now this is, I am talking directly from the economic survey. So in order to compensate the state for the loss of GST revenue, for which year? 2020, 2021. Central government has given the state an option to either borrow. So two options were given. See, uh, this topic have been used for nearly six to nine months continuously. Because to compensate the states for GST shortfall, two options were given. One, one is that the sender have said that, okay, first calculate the entire, what is your GST shortfall? You, means one option is, you find out your entire GST shortfall and you yourself borrow from the market. Sender is telling the state, you yourself borrow from the market. And, you have to pay the interest. But the principal amount we will give you through the GST compensation fund on a regular basis. That is option two. So why I am coming to option one? See, first option is to, you know, to understand. Okay, I am not discussing option one. First option is imagine if the, uh, if the state is saying that <coughs> I am not talking one particular state. I am talking the entire state and the entire amount. Okay, so in order to understand this option 1, you have to understand first option 2. And all the states preferred option 1. Why they didn't prefer option 2? That also you need to understand, okay. Now, try to understand. When central government borrow, we know that central government also borrow, state government also borrow to meet their uh, fiscal deficit target, okay. Because then only their balance, budget will be balanced, okay. When the central government borrow, the rate of interest is slower because central government revenue is better, okay, compared to the state, okay, state development, we call state, that instrument we call it a state development loan, okay. So when if the state directly borrow from the market, the interest rate will be higher than the central borrowing. So in the option two, what the center have given them, you directly borrow from the market, 
you can borrow so this is in additional to the two percentage additional borrowing see first measure i told you two percentage additional borrowing in addition to it you can borrow for gst compensation shortfall but you have to borrow directly from the market there will be no support from you what we will do you we will pay you the principal amount interest also you have to pay but if you go by the option one in the option one the center will not give you the entire shortfall the sender is saying that okay we will give you only those amount we are not taking into consideration this covid 19 we are only we will give you only that amount which is a normal shortfall in gst revenue normal means if there was no covid 19 what will be your revenue shortfall that totally will be compensated the co the revenue shortfall that is we are talking about gst due to covid 19 pandemic and it related to the lockdown will not be we will not give you if you want that you take option two but if you are taking option one we will create a special borrowing program we will borrow on behalf of you so sender is borrowing from the market so when the sender is borrowing and giving to the state interest rate will be lower plus in the option one not only the principal amount the center will be compensating they will also give interest also that's the reason why all the states and union territories with state legislature how many union territories with state legislature are there three 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 including Jammu and Kashmir it's mentioning here in this topic okay so now we'll come to it okay so so the first option is Central will borrow on behalf of the state. That is what is called as there is a, the issue of debt under a special window. Under a special window, in coordination with the Minister of Finance, Central will borrow and pass on to the states under option one. Second option is the state can borrow the entire shortfall, but they have to borrow from directly from the mark. That is option two. But what the state have preferred? The state, all the 28 states, see this is, it is there in the economic survey. All the 28 states and three union territories with the legislature decided to go for, which is back to bor back borrowing. So that's back to back borrowing, depending upon requirement, the center will borrow and give it to the state. Center will borrow, give it to the state. So it is done by the, coordinated by the Ministry of Finance and will ensure steady flow of resources similar to the flow so, like how earlier the GST compensation is provided, the sender will give on a regular basis. It will be transferring to the state, not the full amount at a go on a, means as a, like normal flow, the uh, compensation will be transferred. Okay. Law says that the revenue growth will be 14%. See how it is calculated, it is very difficult to understand. It's an, uh, because how much is the fall due to, COVID-19, how much is the fall due to normal uh, slowdown is, we cannot predict. But they created a formula and said that, the San Finance Ministry said that this is only how much. So you don't go into that, how they came into a conclusion, this is the amount. That UPC will not ask you. UPC will ask you only how this have been done, how the center have compensated the state. There was initially resistance on the part of the state, but finally they fall in line. Many states were hesitant to go for option one. But as time progressed, in the I think six to six months, some states joined very recently only. Okay, so just note down, just have an idea what is there in the economic survey. So what option one, option two. What is option one? Special window. Option one is special window. Option two. Now there is no need to discuss because state, no state is following option two. So under the option one, which we call it as special window, under the special window, for all the states. That is 28 states and 3 union territories with legislature. The center will borrow for the financial year 2021. The center, how much is the amount the center will borrow to meet the GST shortfall? Total amount is 1.1 lakh crore. The center will borrow 1.1 lakh crore. So the center will borrow 1.1. And it started, see the date is very important, okay. This program started from, special window program started from 23rd December 2020 and on a regular basis and it's saying that as of now see as per the economic survey data I'm taking only economic survey data the government of India as out of this 1.1 lakh crore 
now things have improved okay i'm talking i'm sticking with the economic survey out of this 1.1 lakh crore the government of india have borrowed 54000 crore on behalf of the states in five installment and it have been passed over to those states and union territories with the legislature okay now so now what are the see under the option 1 see there are more see i just discussed what is the yeah, option one is, one is a special borrowing program under the option 1 see this is very very important okay if you choose option 1 now if you choose option 1 see the connection if you choose option 1 that is now all the states chosen option 1 the states are also entitled to get the unconditional permission to borrow the final installment of 0.5 percentage of GDP I discussed it in the first measure 0.5 1 0.5 Earlier the 0.5 was conditional based on the reforms. But if you choose option 1, if you choose the option 1 borrowing, then the final installment 0.5 percentage of state GDP, na, you can borrow without any conditions. This is very, 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 very important. Now this is the connection between the first measure and second measure. This is the connection. I told you that. Okay. So out of the two percentage additional borrowing the final installment can also be borrowed without any conditions so that the point last 0.5 percentage is that that is the this one i told you that it's a, uh, that, that is not required if that, now if since you have chosen option 1 if you choose option 2 no so so other than the see so if the by by joining option one by joining the option one does all the states and the union territories with the legislature will get 1.1 lakh crore but by giving this additional borrowing of 0.5 percentage of gdp the center is saying that you can additionally mobilize 1.07 lakh crore so 1.1 lakh crore under the gst compensation shortfall Plus, you can borrow under the additional borrowing program at, at the final 0.5 percentage. It comes around. Now, it is saying that, okay, so this additional mobilization and the above 1.1 lakh special window borrowing will help to meet the revenue shortfall. These two will help to meet the revenue shortfall due to GST implementation. Only if you are choosing option one okay in addition to this this is very 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 important okay in addition to this since you have chosen option one states will be able to carry forward see this borrowing this additional borrowing is given only for the financial year 2020 21 but you have been given an option to carry forward it means that if you have not borrowed if the state have not borrowed in the financial year 2020 21 you can borrow in the next year that is 2021 22 that what is what saying states which have selected option one we know that every states have selected can carry forward unutilized extra borrowing ceilings what is this unutilized extra borrowing ceiling that is we are talking about that additional there have been two borrowing is there now the first 0.5 percentage and the final 0.5 percentage if you have not utilized it if the state have not borrowed in 2020 21 you can carry forward and borrow in the next financial year we are talking about this okay see the gst compensation or that 1.1 lakh crore gst it will be transferred within that financial year additional borrowing 0.5 percentage first 0.5 percentage last point they can carry forward See, all these things are mentioned in the economic survey. Since it is mentioned in the economic survey, you are supposed to know. And it was a very, very, very important current affair. So, this, so that they are talking about the first and the final installment of 0.5 percentage. Carry forward without any condition. And the reform linked portion. What is the reform linked percentage? The remaining one percentage. There are four reforms are there. Okay. The reform linked portion can be carried forward if the state meet the reform criteria within the dates already prescribed for this year. So the reform link, see what is the reform link? Four reforms are there. That is uh, this one nation, one ration card, then power sector reforms, urban uh, local body. So all those reforms, 
if they have implemented if they started implementing the reform criteria within the date already prescribed then that also can be carried forward that one percentage also so that's why the first topic and the second topic is interrelated. related okay you have to link it okay you have to link it with the first measure and the second measure see first what is the first measure sender allowed two personal additional borrowing but in this two percentage additional borrowing now if you join option one one percentage that is the first 0.5 percentage and the last 0.5 percentage is unconditional and can be carried forward but the next the middle one one percentage you know, which is equally divided into four 0 0.25 0 0.25 0 0.25 that also you can carry forward that borrowing also you can carry forward if you start implementing by the date prescribed the center of prescribed to implement these reforms within a time period yes only for option one option two is not discussed why because no states have not chosen it but they, are, they have been given two options so this is the second measure taken by the sender to support the state okay first is giving the sender sorry it's giving the state additional two percentage borrowing of their state GDP second measure is to address the GST compensation shortfall shortfall so compensation to address the GST shortfall okay and also continue it okay also it's saying that with a view to protect the state from higher borrowing cost with a view to protect the state from higher borrowing cost when there will be high borrowing cost when the state directly borrow from the market okay now try to understand that see sender will endeavor to keep the cost at or close to the for the see under the special borrowing program now see under the special borrowing program sender is borrowing on behalf of the states so unlike the sender direct borrowing unlike the sender direct borrowing when sender borrow on behalf of the states the, there will be a slight difference in the interest rate but if the state directly go and borrow there will be big difference so the state is also the center is also guaranteeing that okay under the special window program under the special window program when this ten sender borrow on behalf of the state under the special window okay it will try to ensure that it will try to ensure that the interest rate is near to the interest rate which the sender no, sender normally borrow under the 10 year government security yield so that is what it is saying that okay the state the sender will try to ensure that the cost cost means interest rate is close to the government security yield yield means the interest rate of the government security for the special window program and in any event if the interest rate is higher the center will always try to ensure that the interest rate is closer to the center borrowing central government borrowing but if any case if the interest rate is higher then what the center will say that the difference between the difference between the central borrowing that is what is the borrowing for the government securities and the average of state development lo loan yield okay so state development loan means the borrowing for the state so the difference between the sender loan and the state loan what will be the difference interest rate 50 percentage of that difference the sender will provide a subsidy so the sender is saying that under the special borrowing program in order to ensure that the interest rate is closer to the central borrowing interest rate whatever the difference in the interest rate will be there 50 percentage of that difference the sender will compensate to the state in the form of subsidy now interest on, on the borrowing under the special window this is very 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 important okay the interest what is the special window program 1.1 lakh crore will be borrowed by the sender on behalf of the state for meeting the gst shortfall revenue gst for shortfall due to the implementation okay so this amount the interest there will be principal amount principal amount is 1.1 lakh crore there will be interest now the interest on the borrowing under the special window will be paid from the gst compensation says i already told you okay if you choose option one interest and the principal will be paid from the compensation says okay so so the interest of the borrowing will be paid from the compensation says 
and when it arises until the end of the transition period. What is the transition period? Five years. Starting from? So these things are not mentioned in the economic survey. First July 2017 is the time where it was implemented. So till 2022. Till the end of June 2022. So it is saying that and again after the transition period that is from 1st July 2022. So for after the transition period the principle see till that transition period whatever the GST compensation says if they are collecting it will be paid for paying the interest. After the transition period the principal and interest will also be paid from the proceeds of this. So what does it mean? GST compensation says will be continued after the five year. By extending, see, so economic survey says that GST compensation says will be extended beyond the transition period as may be required. They are not saying how much, how long it will be extended. It is saying that as it may be required to compensate the state for this paying the interest as well as the principal. This is very, 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 very important for you. And finally, it is saying that the state under option 1 will not be required to service the debt or repay it from any other source. So, under the special window program, what all the money the state receive, its interest and the principal amount, the state need not to uh, do it. The, it will be paid through the GST compensation says and it will be transferred over a period of time. Okay. So, initially it, interest will be paid. See, in, under the borrowing interest only you have to pay first. Principal amount you have to pay last. So, hopefully that once the transition period will be over, then the remaining period, the interest as well as principal amount will be paid. This is mentioned in the economic survey. Since this has been mentioned in the economic survey in a detailed manner, you have to know in and out of this particular topic. Okay. So, because of this, they can either directly ask a question on the GST Compensation Act. Already this was question was asked in the mains. This was a mains question. This January 2021. This was the <coughs> mains question on regarding GST. Because this was a very important current affair. Okay.